Hey everyone, I'm Mel and I'm Double Pisces Tarot. And today we are doing a reading for Pisces. So today is the 24th. Yes, it is the 24th of February 2024. I was just trying to remember. <laughs> So just remember this is a Pisces collective reading. Take what resonates for you and leave the rest. But if you're watching this video, there are messages for you in it. Even though I did say the date, this is a timeless reading. So whenever you're watching the videos, when you're supposed to receive the messages. Okay, Pisces, let's do it. Let's see what's in your energy today. Messages for Pisces. messages for Pisces first card of the reading you have marriage I'll just check the cards once I've got them all out child so this could involve a family this could involve a child uh, this doesn't actually have to be a child it could just be a younger energy house so yes this could be something to do with family something that's close to you something that you could class as you know a marriage someone that you're connecting with that you could have children with there could be travel towards your home something to do with the home and this family on the back of the deck you've got gift so that's some good news there Pisces is a gift in your energy what you don't see <clears throat> okay let's grab out some tarot <clears throat> so I've lit <clears throat> a new candle for you guys um, this is from my good friend Haley uh, she is a candle maker in Gympie also so her business is called Sweet Scents by Haley. In this one, this is actually a love spell candle. Um, there is a message that will come out. So we'll see if we see the message um, through the reading, through this reading, but we'll see it through one of them. <clears throat> okay, we'll just do another quick shuffle. But yes, if you would like to purchase a candle off her, she sells them Australia wide. Um, Sweet Scents by Haley. I love her candles. Okay, messages for Pisces. To me, there was an ending. There could be an ending in your energy. Someone betrayed you. You've got the Eight of Wands. The King of Cups. The Six of Pentacles. The King of Swords. The Queen of Pentacles in the center of your reading today, Pisces. The Ace of Pentacles. The Seven of Cups. The High Priestess and the Seven of Swords. On the back of the deck, you've got the Hierophant and the Five of Cups. Looking good, Pisces, looking good. Okay, so first card of your reading today, you've got the Eight of Wands, some type of movement. It's like there's messages coming towards this King of Cups. What's the Eight of Wands? 
got the devil. Could be someone moving towards you with Capricorn in their chart. They don't have to. Someone that has addictions. There could be messages coming, incoming. To me, there's more than one here. Obviously, you can see there's more than one. One, there's eight. You've got the four of wands. So there could have been messages from this person. You could have had a relationship with them. This could be a twin flame in your life with the four of wands coming out. And then you've got the three of wands. So this could have been something you were expecting with that three of wands. This message or this movement from this energy. Someone that could be a soulmate, as I said. But this person could also have addictions. Um, this also could be someone, you know, that is a bit of a womanizer. You know, that is Capricorn energy. But I feel like while you're looking out into the distance, while there's something you see coming in, there is, there is other messages coming towards you. What's the King of Cups? I'll do that again. But that was the seven of wands you know i feel like you are the seven of wands someone that there could be people bringing conflict into your life there could be more than one person coming in and saying something to you you are the king of cups so pisces you know you are a mature person you hold your feelings back um, and you bring them out when need be someone that is compassionate very attractive Tarot has no gender either. So when we talk kings and queens, this is energy, okay? So you've got the artist and the seven of swords. Oops, sorry. That was down there. You've got the artist. So this is you, Pisces. You could be creative. You could be working on something in the material world. You've got the six of wands, something that, you know, people are looking up to you with something that, you know, you're, wa you're walking into the winner's circle, I feel. There's lots of people looking at you. And then you've got the well. So I feel like you're trying to connect with your purpose. You are, as I said, the king of cups. You are really focused on yourself at the moment when these messages do come in. Because this is something you don't see, as I said. With the King of Cups coming out, I feel like you are in your element. You're someone that's a giver. You're someone that, you know, shows that you're a balanced person. But there's this, a lot of focus on something in the material world. What's the Six of Pentacles? You've got the Sun, Leo energy. The Three of Cups. And the Four of Pentacles. So I feel like you see a truth. I feel like you are really focused on yourself at the moment Pisces um, not focused on love just focused on doing what you need to do with something in your life I feel like you see the light I feel like there's this healing I also feel like you could be giving you know to the right things could be giving to others now there's this person standing or sitting here sort of jealous of you giving to these people with the three of cups coming out like i feel like there is celebration for you and happiness in your life with the sun there's this lot of this family energy coming out uh, with that sun leo energy like a child um, healing as i said evolution 
know, people celebrating together, but I feel like you're giving to the right people now. You're not giving to this energy. There's something here that you were giving to, but now I feel you're giving to, you know, either a family, children. Holding back from that, that other energy, whatever that is could be a way of thinking it could be a person what's the king of swords you have the eight of pentacles the tower and the emperor So the King of Swords, Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, there is some type of logic thinker energy around you, someone that could have air in their chart, that Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, it doesn't have to be, it could also be an ex, but this could also just be, you know, a mature person, take what resonates for you, Pisces, but the King, you know, isn't an ex all the time but the king of swords is so you know take what resonates for you but i feel like there's some type of tower moment that happened in this person's life with the tower coming out aries energy something that's made them work on themselves something that was unexpected i feel like with the emperor coming out aries energy this could be someone that has aries in their chart they don't have to this could be someone that's a leader uh, someone that's knowledgeable Aries is really coming out but there's like a tower moment that I feel happened in their life something you know that wasn't built on steady foundation which made them start working on themselves center of your reading today, today Pisces you have the Queen of Pentacles what's the Queen of Pentacles for Pisces so you have the chariot cancer energy the hermit Virgo and the Queen of Wands So with the Queen of Pentacles coming out, Earth Energy, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, I feel like you are focused on, there's this motherly parent energy could be giving to, you know, in the reading here, there's this family thing coming up. But I feel like you are leaving some type of situation, realizing that this is your path. Sunflowers are really coming out today really significant so flat sunflowers could be significant to you a black cat you know but you are the peacemaker i feel like you know with the queen of wands this is someone that you know has a lot of passion someone that is understanding look at her she's just she's someone that's evolved she's beautiful she's attractive you know she's looking at that star you know i feel like part of your lesson is to learn to to have this peace in your life you know and you're giving to the right things I feel like there's something in the material world that could make you feel peaceful something that you're doing what's this ace of pentacles so you have the five of wands so the ace of pentacles is this thing that I feel there's something that's being handed to you. This could be from divine. This is something that you're looking at, a goal. And then you've got the moon. So there's this moon energy. Something that is your passion, something that's like in your soul, you know, that you're following. Now there could be no communication. There could be you being out in the cold at the moment but there is some type of new beginning like this ace of pentacles is reminding me of that moon 
Uh, there could be a lot of competition in what you're doing. I feel like you could be, you could have been focused on something that was very emotional in the past with those eight cups coming out, you know, something that was significant in your life. And you feel you know that this is not right for you. You need to follow that path. You know, this, the moon, look at the moon, you're looking at it. Pisces Cancer energy. This is just part of the path. I feel and you need to keep following following the light um, I watched the crudes with my daughter it's a I love that movie we both love that movie we watched it again um, last weekend and you know they what they do is they follow the Sun or follow the light so it's like just reminding me of that like divine is telling you to follow away and the way is the light the light that is getting shone on you whatever that is in your life there is a lot of competition I feel there could be a lot of conflict on that road because it is really high you know you're going up reminds me of like Lord of the Rings you know they're doing the whole mission um, you know to get the ring to where it needs to go and they're going up that mountain and then is it Saruman, he like gets all the rocks to fall down and that. So it's just pretty much like it's reminding me of Lord of the Rings. Um, so it's like there's going to be challenges along the way. <clears throat> but you're like Frodo, you're trying to get to, you know, that, that end result of what you need to get to. <clears throat> <clears throat> No? and I feel like it could be success in the future so we'll grab out all these cards Pisces and we'll concentrate on this last row Okay, what's the Seven of Cups for Pisces? You have the Queen of Wands. So there's a manipulative energy around you. Someone that's wearing a mask. Someone that's hiding themselves. <clears throat> With the Queen of Wands, it could be someone that has fire in their chart. It could be a third party energy. You've got the Page of Cups the devil and the ace of pentacles <clears throat> so to me that looks like someone wanting to come in towards you someone's wanting to say something could be a younger energy uh, someone that is very attracted to you could have fire in their chart also um, this person may have some type of addictions they may also have a third party um, because there is this manipulation energy I also feel like, yeah, someone's hiding something from you. With the devil coming out, Capricorn energy, it's like some type of addiction. But they're wanting to start something. There's someone coming in, a younger energy. You know, it could be a child. This person is hiding something from you, though. You know, I also feel like they look at you like the peacemaker. It's like they're handing you the cup. They're coming in. Um, could be same sex. Take what resonates for you. It could be just a younger energy. But this is what they're hiding behind them. This, this devil. This, this something. They're wearing a mask. They're making you look at this, I feel, with rose-colored glasses on. Like, this is an option. What's this High Priestess coming out for Pisces? Like, I feel like this is you, Pisces. Obviously, it is uh, Pisces energy. You've got the Three of Swords, so heartbreak. I feel like you could be someone that's holding on to things, someone that's learning a lesson. You know, the high priestess is very intuitive. She can feel things. She's going to make a choice with the lovers coming out. Gemini energy. 
<clears throat> and the page of swords. Like communication. You're going to make a choice. There's someone watching you, I feel. I feel also you may say something, you may make that decision and tell this person that you don't want to be there because for some reason here we've got the Seven of Swords. So this, this ghosting, I feel like you may say something. Intuitively, I feel like you're really going to go deep within and I feel like you could hurt someone's feelings with the Three of Swords coming out. But you know what's right for you, Pisces. What's the Seven of Swords? You've got the Eight of Swords. So leaving a situation, I feel, is going to leave you in your head. You may just not communicate and leave, take all your communication. You know, you may some say something and then leave. There's something, there's something you were focused on. You have a plan, you have a plan. And I feel like this energy coming in trying to manipulate the situation is not part of the plan you know, and as much as you may want this person um, in your life there could be some codependency with this energy you know there is something here that you have your eye on but I feel like you may leave the situation as much as you know, as much as you may want to be with this person or whatever, you know this isn't right for you, you know, and you are being the high priestess, listening to your gut instincts. What's the Hierophant for Pisces? What does Pisces not see with this Hierophant? The Two of Cups. The Six of Swords. Oh, I saw a card. And the Page of Swords. Something to do with a commitment, you leaving it. You know, leaving it for that calmer water, as I said. There's someone watching you do it, though. You know, I feel like you know that you've learned a lesson. This person could have Taurus in their chart. They don't have to. Oh, looks like the message is going to come out soon. This person's watching you walk away, though. But this was a lesson that you needed to learn. And you've accepted that. What's the Five of Cups? The Ten of Wands? The Devil? So when you leave this person, they're going to be in a lot of regret. This person could also have addictions. This is what this person's holding on to. And, you know, they need to make a choice whether to let go of this um, and go another way. They could have Capricorn in their cha chart. Capricorn's really coming out today, but there's a burden in their life. It could be an addiction. It could be codependency. You know, take what resonates for you. But this person is lost um, knowing that you are not choosing them because of this addiction or whatever this is in their life, okay?
Okay, Pisces. We've done those for the day. Let's grab you out a music message. One card for Pisces. Free Bird. Leonard Skinnard. Leonard Skinnard, sorry. Beyond the Sea. Bobby Darren. Okay, so listen to those songs. They will have messages, Pisces. I am going to leave it there. Thank you all for coming to my reading. If this is your first time, welcome. Just remember all my readings are timeless, so if you ever want to check out my channel, there is a playlist for Pisces. Now, I thank all the beautiful people that are here every day, that are positive, um, that are trying to work on themselves, um, that are taking the messages, you know, and running with it. But, you know, I wish you all the best. I love you guys. Have a great day or night wherever you are in the world. Happy birthday to the Pisces babies born today. Just remember everybody, first of all, thank you so much to everybody that has purchased a reading from me. It means so much um, to me and my channel. Uh, I can buy more cards and, you know, do more things, get more candles, you know, stuff like that for the channel um, with your guys' support. So I thank you so much for purchasing those readings and being here. You know, I'm, it means so much having you here every day. But as I was saying, uh, Pisces season, I have 11% off my personal reading. So if you would like a personal reading from me, check out the link below. Make sure you put in the code birthday for your 11% off. Um, but yes, I love you guys. Have a great day or night wherever you are in the world and I'll see you all again tomorrow. Bye-bye.